Welcome back. The year 2019 saw many Kenyans lose their jobs as companies struggled to keep their businesses running. And this eventuality being blamed on the harsh economic times, despite a report by the World Bank that Kenya's economy was growing. But while this may be the case for many, there are ways to still keep oneself open for new opportunities. Raquel Moigai reports. My name is Ivan Haemba. I stay in Kawangware 56 and I'm 26 years old. I do sell water, 20 bob per jerry can. So I, before I started uh, doing this hustle, I was uh, working for a Chinese construction company. So I just lost my job recently and uh, I've lost now two jobs in uh, under one year and a half. Ivan Haimba was working as a field supervisor in the construction industry between February 2019 and September 2019. But one morning, one of his managers approached him. His message was that the firm was not able to pay him anymore. I was working for a Chinese firm. So they don't want you to sign those documents so that whenever they want to fire you or they want to... You don't have anything to defend yourself with. I don't have any documents. But at the same time, when you're being told to do the job and uh, you're told that you will not sign uh, any document, you know, you cannot refuse because at the end of the day, you want the job. And if you don't take it, someone else will take it. With no one to fall to following the job loss, Evan had to make changes in his lifestyle. I was being paid uh, 45,000 shillings a month. So I was living, in a, I was staying in a bed sitter. And when I was fired, I had to cut the cost of living. So I had to shift to another house. The bed sitter was paying 6,000 shillings per month. So I shifted to another house where I'm paying 3,500 uh, shillings per month. And even the diet changes. So if you're having breakfast, lunch and supper now, I only have breakfast and supper. He now sells water in Kawangwari area within Nairobi and can make between 300 to 600 shillings a day. This after paying 100 shillings to the one who has helped him push the cart and 200 shillings to the owner of the cart. Massive job losses have stuck out against impressive reports of constant economic growth, with those that have found themselves on the receiving end of downsizing companies having to pick up the pieces and move on with life. In October 2019, the World Bank cited that East Africa's biggest economy, Kenya, had grown by an average of more than 5% in the last five years. A report that the central bank governor, Paul Njoroge, stated there was nothing impressive about it. Quoting, it is true that you have numbers, you have GDP numbers, and you can't eat GDP. The baffling economic growth and employment mismatch that Kenyans have grudgingly tried to understand. We should also not only measure the, the, the income of the, the total population. What about the health? of uh, the people who are in that economy. How about uh, their lifespan, uh, every day, stress levels? These are things that also should be inc incorporated in the formula. So what happens if we have wrong projection for an economic growth or, uh, when we say we have growth? and our, our population numbers already are politicized. According to Elliot Gadongo, an economic analyst, the government needs to engage in broad-based growth where investment priority is given to sectors that directly impact a majority of the population. By using indicators like consumer and human confidence, that will basically assess dimensions of human development, be it a long and healthy life, access to knowledge and a decent standard of living. The government... Uh has greatly failed in one way, especially it has disappointed the youth. The Kenya National Bureau of Statistics indicates that creation of formal jobs has been decreasing over the years, from 134,200 jobs in 2013 to only 78,400 jobs in 2018. The ripple effect leading to an increase in job creation in the informal sector from 613,250 jobs in 2013 to 800,000 jobs in 2017. People who are in, in the informal sector, you will get, there are so many other hurdles, certificates that you will get uh, for you to do a startup, a, a business startup. You have to pay so much before you even start the business itself. The taxation, uh, the tax, it's time we even relook at the taxation loans. 
While thousands of graduates are injected into the job market annually, it is a market that is shrinking, leaving young men like Ivan, a civil engineering technician diploma graduate from the Technical University of Kenya, having to make do with what life offers them. I've made so many applications, over 20. If you go through my mail, my mail you will see that. But uh, it's in vain. I've never gotten any good results from those applications. And to be completely honest, up to this moment, it's like uh, I've given up. I don't want to look for jobs no more. I just want to do my small assaults, start from somewhere, and then I know the future will be fine. Human resource professionals advise that those who have found themselves in such a situation to give themselves time to adjust while networking for new opportunities in the employment world. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV, Nairobi.